Hello there everyone, my name is Zayred, and welcome back to more Bloodstained Ritual Denied. Today we're going to continue where we left off, in case you're wondering why we went back to the ship, I want to save just to make sure nothing bad happens. But come on, Johannes, let's go. Two, I'm not even going to try to butcher that. Oh yeah, fun fact here. Um, when I was actually when me and, when we were doing a test run of this on for BWG, which we already have a couple parts done. Um, before we did it, I actually showed Brad some stuff on my buddy Brad some stuff on the game or Zara. And when we were doing so, I showed him I showed him parts of the game. But he actually got a little bit freaked out with the shard thing. I forgot to mention that last part. Oh, don't worry, little girl. You're safe. I like how Miriam just basically went, you ain't even worthy enough to take out my weapon. Well, to be fair, they are the putty patrollers. Thank you, Miriam. You know who I am. And that means... I'm sorry we couldn't get here sooner, Dominique. So this is our contact. Yes, the church sent me. As you can see, I know a thing or two about expelling demons. Where's the text at? That's the second time that's happened. And no, the worst part is I can see it's actually happening in the recording as well. And the church you, Miriam. Thank you for guiding her here, Johannes. We wouldn't have asked if it wasn't important. But you should tell us why you need her. Miriam isn't one to shy away from danger. But she deserves to be armed with all... Forces. Yes, indeed. Yes, very well. I told you when I contacted you that the Shardbinder Jubal is responsible for summoning the castle. Yes, there's no mistake about that. He admitted as much. What? You spoke to him? Then let me get right to the point. I find it curious that the outpouring of demons, facilitated by hmm. one Shardbinder, just happens to coincide with the sudden awakening of the other Shardbinder, after exactly ten years. Did he put her to sleep? You're right. It is strange. But the Church doesn't get to drag Miriam into this just because the timing is off. Oh, do you decide for her then? I asked you to bring her here so she could see the horrors that have befallen the village and make an informed choice. I have no intention of forcing you, Miriam. You don't have to. I gave Jubal my word that I would stop him. What happened here only strengthens my resolve. <laughs> Thank you, Miriam. I am sorry to put it on your shoulders. Um, pardon me. Oh, hello there. Are you all right? We didn't mean to ignore you. I'm all right, thank you. You are quite welcome. Do you? Of have course, I have a name. Anne. What a lovely name. Anne, you shouldn't be out here. Let me take you somewhere. Seriously, what were you doing out here? Oh, all right. Were you looking for your fa Were you looking for your family and stuff like that? Huh, you know what? I'm gonna have to check something. No, I'm just I'm gonna go ahead and get through this part. And this is basically your headquarters for the game. This is basically the place you're always gonna teleport back to. This is the equivalent of your library in Castlevania Seven the Night. You even get a certain equipment, even a piece of equipment that'll um, allow you to return back here at any point in time called a waystone. Are you gonna go in there? Exactly. That's not yes, it is. I'll be fine, Johannes. Please don't worry. <sighs> All right, but we'll be here if you need us. Let's not waste any time. We have a lot to do. Come back if you need anything. I'll get a workshop running so I can perform alchemy for you. Thank you, Johannes. I know you're strong. But Thank you for your concern, Anne. And with that, shop key, our shop geeks and our alchemists both go their separate ways. And before I go see any of them, I'm going to go and grab this thing. Everyone, that's the waystone. That's the thing I was talking about a second ago. Oh, he's not here yet. 
I guess I have to go talk to them first. All right. Ah, uh, here she is. You have to marvel at the church's resources. Look at what they've provided for us. I know, it's incredible. So, what I can do for you here in the workshop is take materials you bring me and transmute them into new items. But the alchemy is easier to show you than explain. Here, I have some materials we can use. So let's try transmuting them. Okay, there are items. And to show you what you can do, you can craft new items, you can prepare food, you can enhance some of the shards that you're going to be finding in the game, and you can dismantle them. You can't do that right now because this ethylene item takes alcohol. Alcohol is an annoying item that thankfully you can buy, but we won't be needing that at the moment. But let's go ahead and get... Yeah, let's go ahead and do three. Well, that we now have three potions. Any weapons we can make? Technically, we do. Once again, that weapon became that weapon became uh, annoying fast. All right, let's see. We have the thorn whip, which we get later. We have the fl and a bunch of these weapons we can't get without certain materials. This one actually does require a special weapon, one that we can either buy or we can find in the state buy throughout the game. In fact, let me see if I can find the one that I usually make. There we go. As soon as we get the chance, we'll be back here to get that one. Thankfully, the formulas are in the Hell House. I understand. I'm not even kidding. Also, the demon crystal you've obtained. Shards. Those can be transmuted the same way as items. Each shard requires specific materials, but it's worth it to make your shards more useful. Try it when you get the chance. I think I will. Also, neither one of us has been eating well. No wonder, considering the struggle we've been through. That plus the stress you gotta be under. If you bring me the ingredients, I can use alchemy to prepare meals for us. With proper nutrition and a varied diet, you have the potential to get much. He's not food. kidding. And there we go. They already said it before I could even get to it. That's the main reason why I recommend you eat food in this game. Like that alone makes the food, all the food you've been making, pretty good. That plus, oh, she's not here yet. Let's talk to the little girl first. Oh hello! <laughs> I hope you're ready to loosen those purse strings. Oh hello! Huh? That's all she says right now. Miriam, welcome. Since this is your first time here. Let me tell you a little bit about the supplies. This is where you're going to buy and sell stuff or sell me shards. Oh, uh, please. I have made arrangements so you can buy and sell items here. I would have liked to provide what you need for free. But seeing as we are largely cut off from the church's funds out here, I will need money in order to keep the supply post stocked. I hope you don't mind paying. No, I understand. I appreciate I kind of do. Care. I can also buy shards from you. If you no longer need them. Wait, is trade in demon shards even allowed? Of course. The church would sooner gather them up and make certain they are pure. Good point. I am not permitted to sell them, but I can buy them off you. You may want to keep extras, since possessing multiple shards of the same type amplifies its power. But there is a limit to how far that can go. And more importantly, if you carry a large number of shards, your body's corruption may accelerate, but I'll find a way to... Which never happens at game. I still recommend selling your shards as a means of... Which, I'm, which again, not, no joke here. Right. Been through the entire game multiple times, never had any th problem with carrying so many shards. So besides my first playthrough where I did shell, now, sell really shards, I've never had a problem. What are you looking to buy? So let's go ahead and buy some... Alright, let's see here. I like always getting. Okay, I got. And there go all those items. We don't have anything we can get there. We can get some other items from here, but none I see worth getting. Oh, I forgot to give this to you. It's the key to the building. You can use it to explore further. Ooh, thank you. 
I invited the other survivors inside where it's safe. They all have troubles that need resolving. If you can spare them the time, I'll do what I can. I know you AK, these are basically your side quests. There's only one of them who isn't a side quest, in fact. I mean, there's only one side quest that isn't in here, and no, two of them. We'll be meeting the we'll be meeting both of them later on. And here's one of them. I'd rather kill over than die than spend another moment in a living hell like this. Your smile confuses me then. Oh man. And the first thing that she wants us to bring us is a portable snack. I don't think I've ever been so hurt by that. Okay, now that we got that done, we can go here to this woman who, for some reason, to me. Okay, to anyone out there who's played Locking Dead. Tell me this woman doesn't look like Lily. Like, look at Lily from like the first season, final season, and tell me that this woman doesn't look like her. Where are the others? Dead, most of them. My dear husband included. Those devils have to pay. Those murderers. You look strong, miss. I'm begging you. Help me. If it's within my power. Oh, thank you. My name's Lindsay. What's yours? Miriam. Well, Miriam, I'll gather whatever information hmm. I can about the monsters that wronged us. I want you to hunt down the monsters and take vengeance on them. The effort won't go unrewarded, I promise you that. All right. Here's what I've turned up. All monsters. right. Help my husband rest in peace. Kill that murderer dead. Okay, there. No problem there. And our other vi and our other hero. I'm glad these fields are rid of those monsters. But they're in a terrible state. I'll need to replant everything. What will you grow? Oh, I haven't decided yet. <laughs> Where are my manners? Son Harry. Miriam. Tell me, Miriam, do you have anything I might be able yes. to grow? Yes. Because if you let me do the farming, I'll give you your share of the harvest, and you won't even have to lift a finger. Oh, all right. I'll keep an eye out. Good. I'll be waiting in the Oh yeah, here's the annoying thing. You see these three items right here? Yeah, these are the only three things you can grow. Can you plant this? Sure. I don't know why that's the case, but it is. It's uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's incredibly odd that that's all you can grow, just those three items precisely. But oh god, it's already been ten minutes. And here's our last member. I actually forgot she was here. I was going over here to kill some stuff real quick. But you're not like us. You're strong. I saw you fighting. Oh, it was more luck than skill. Oh, humble too. My name is Abigail. Is it me or does she look like, um, I can't remember her name from Castlevania. Richter's wife. Saifa. Of course. But but that's not going to be possible for some. In the very least, though. I'd like to bury some keepsake for each of them. A Valkyrie like you should have no trouble finding such things. Can I count on Oh you? no. Can I'm sorry, everyone. The moment she said Valkyrie, I immediately remember that I still haven't yeah, finished God of War technically on this file, and I someday have to go back and fight those Valkyries. Let me show you. Ah. Thank you. How are you, Miriam? Getting by. I think I do have a tunic on me. Yes, I do. Here's what you asked for. This is it. That's one more villager we can lay to rest. Here's your reward. Thank you greatly.
Well, I don't think I've ever hated rats more. I'm sorry, everyone, for that horrible display, but man. Oh, yeah, another thing I do like is how sometimes, depending on the weapon you're using, you can chop their heads off that easily. I would like to match that thing going, I rose! I think this is our first summon where we can just summon that rat. Yep. Call forth a giant rat and set it upon foes. Oh, so we leveled up too. I think we just need one more. Oh no, not forgetting you. Stone mask. Let's equip that real quick and let's see where... You know what the funny thing is? If you take away that, if you take away that horn, you would basically have the stone mask from JoJo. <laughs> Let's be fair; there already was one like that in Castlevania Symphony of Night. Because um, if you get if you get the chance to look at, there's um a stone mask hidden behind a, I think it's behind a bookshelf, which I think is the same place that Jonathan keeps the mask that Dia would use to become a vampire in Phantom Blood. All right, and with that done, let's head over this way. Got any targets for me? Here's what I've turned up. For. Good work. Here's your reward. Crap, I know. You know the bad thing is, I just realized I probably should have gone back to her too. But let's see if we have what we need to in order to do this. It's good you too, man. What are we transmuting? Oh yeah, I can make two of these. I'll go with this. In case you want to make two of them, I want that permanent stat boost. Great. Let's start making some other stuff too. That way, let's start with this. I'll go with this. Great. And this. I'll go with this. Great. I'll go with this. Again, all this is being done purely so I have the materials. Great. Oh yeah, another thing I forgot to mention is you can craft... Okay, we don't have that yet, but you can actually craft shards. And I can actually, um... You know, I'll start, I'll start using this one. I actually really like this one. And, and everything you have, you can record up... I mean, um, enhance up to level 9. I'll explain more about the other shards when the time comes. Oh man. The alchemist's research was expensive. The guild members didn't want to lose their wealthy patrons. So they warned again and again that demons would come if people let go of this, but people don't change that easily. So the alchemists took a more drastic measure. You mean us? Hmm. The shard yes, exactly. Yes. It shames me that I was even connected to what they did. But uh, at least you have the facts of it. It's all right. Thank you for telling me. And with that, downtown to feed an old lady some food. Did you bring it? Of course it did. That's it. How did you know? Oh, oh I can't wait to try it. Oh, it's delicious. Uh, save some for me. You're welcome. Don't give up. You're going to get through this. And with that, we don't have the thorn whip. I'll show that off later, but I have something new. Just to show and just to show this off. Huh? Where is it? Oh, I think it's just the materials that become available. Sometimes certain foods will be available, but I don't think that that's entirely. And with that, I've gained I've gained another ten life. And I remember those another fact that I can't remember exactly what that is, but I'm gonna go up here. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna end this one right here. I'm sorry that we really didn't do anything. I just spent this entire part explaining everything and just letting basically like this be an entire basic cutscene part. But I want to say once again, thank you all for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want to. 
This has been Zero Everybody, and until next time, everyone, take care.